on set is always memorable just because I'm like, I was once a child that, like my whole life is constantly blowing me away. So the whole thing, I'm like, I'm on set working with Loretta Devine, who I grew up loving, absorbing, and Diane Keaton. And we're filming in Los Angeles, where I grew up. I'm from Inglewood, and I'm just, the whole thing is just strange. <laughs> And amazing. How often do you ladies meet for your wine club? Every day. Sometimes we spend the weekend. <laughs> I think I think the takeaway for me was it's like a celebration of women friends. You know, um, we get each other through all kinds of things. And the older you get, oftentimes women outlive men, and uh, your girlfriends get you through. Uh, there's also this wonderful component of. You get to a certain age and maybe you don't sweat the small stuff so much. So I can see why younger women sometimes look at their grandmothers and their aunties and stuff and think, well, I think I want to be more like her. And think about who you want to be. I'm a 70-year-old woman trapped in the body of a 30-year-old who just needs a minute to rest. Oh, oh my God. When you found out that you were going to be basically Diane Keaton's younger self. Like, what was that experience like for you? And, you know, coming in on set for the very first time, what was that experience as well? It was surreal. I still can't believe it. I Every time I see Diane, it's surreal. I can't believe I get to rub shoulders with her, let alone embody her in any slight kind of way. I'm just so grateful. Okay, so my two best friends, Paul Welsh and Madeline Walter, they wrote the movie, and, um, I don't know if I had an audition. I don't remember how I got the part, but I play like a guru and I'm leading this like wellness seminar type deal, like feeling your body and like getting in touch with yourself. And then I don't want to give it away, but a very funny thing happens with Diane's character. And honestly, she was a joy to work with and it was a lot of improv and stuff. And then there was like a stunt that happens. I don't know, it was really fun. I play this guy, Jack, who's just uh, really not what you'd expect him to be. He shows up in the very first scene uh, wearing this ath athleisure wear, like some pretty uh, douchey sweatpants. I think that was the thing that drew me to the character mostly, was just like, when can I get my chance to really represent my true inner self, which is somebody who enjoys wearing douchey sweatpants uh, out and about in the world. So that was the first thing. Katie was amazing when we uh, were chatting about the character in the movie. And then, of course, getting to work with Diane, that's something that doesn't uh, come around too often for me, or ever, for most people. So I thought I'd you know, better jump on it. You know what? I did not feel the nerves kick in once, and that is because may maybe on the drive to the first day of shooting, being like, did I poop enough? Do I have to poop more? Like, am I a cold brew? Is that too much? Too little? Um, getting into hair and makeup and, like, you know, who do I talk to? Who do I say hi to? And then Katie literally, first scene, she was like, okay, Addie, go. Just, like, she just trusted me fully just to improvise. Like, any scene that I'm in, I'm, like, improvising at the top of it. And it was so... Um, amazing to feel a director just fully trust you immediately um, and I love improvising and I love improvising with Katie and she like knew it like we saw each other as like oh we like to make up stuff and make other people laugh and try to surprise them so um, so fortunately no n nerves just totally excited every day so much of this movie is a message of like how we feel about ourselves and how what we present to the world and so much of that is is about the fashion right and I think very early on in the movie Mac is very hesitant to to have any sense of style, anything beyond the bland and the ordinary. And then as she becomes more comfortable in her own body, it is like really leaning into the, the patterns, the textures, and, and the colors that she loves. Now, Addie said that during the process, you basically allowed her to be herself, and she felt that in doing so, she became a better actor uh, actress in the film. What was that experience like? Yeah, what was that experience like working with her? Uh, Addie is, is a magical gem and I think when someone shows you that they have the ability to do what she can do then then it's such a gift to a director to be able to trust that performer to go do what they do so well. I laid down in that pod and when I came out I was in this body. Okay you're coming in with a lot of energy. Yeah. 